rainbows and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be doing a Create a Sim makeover video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but we are doing this for Queen Desta. We're picking her new outfits because she has recently become the Queen Consort of the UKSD. So she is from my Royal Family series. And if you aren't familiar with my series, it is linked in the description below. The playlist is, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend that you start with the season one recap video, which is also linked in the description below. But yeah, her and Adric's wedding was season two, episode 67. And I loved their wedding. It was a lot of fun. Um, so now we're picking outfits for Desta. Um, and yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last one I did, I was either picking outfits for some of the royal teens or for Empress Araminta when she became Empress. Um, but I'm glad I found several custom content items that worked. I went custom content. I went custom content shopping before this, um, and I found some really cute clothes that I think are adorable and that fit Desta really well. She looks super good in jumpsuits. And I thought those, like this one is so cute. I did have several people asking if there would be a coronation ceremony for her. So in the past, in like season one of my series, I like kind of pretended to do a coronation. And I'm pretty sure I just like threw a dinner party and had them sit on some thrones and say that was the coronation. And I do remember doing that with both like the monarch and the monarch spouse. I now kind of make more of a show with it because now we have animations for it. Um, um, and I usually make that more cinematic with like the machinimas and showing that as I'm like talking through it in the episodes. And then now I've like done more research too. So it's actually not that common for the consort, so the spouse of the monarch from the research that I did. I don't know if it's like this, like in every monarchy around the world, but um, it's not that common for them to get a coronation ceremony. I believe Prince Philip, which is, you know, Queen Elizabeth II, her husband, he was one of the exceptions to have a ceremony. And I think in my series and my world, I, I mean, like, cause I've done it for both the monarch and their spouse in the past, but I think now I'm gonna make it more of a thing for like more modern day for the coronation to just be for the monarch, which I feel like makes more sense because the monarch is that they're the ruler and maybe they might have a small ceremony for the consort, but not like as extravagant and as big as the monarch. And it's probably not something I would show either. But for the most part, I think most of the kingdoms, they don't actually have a coronation. But yeah, I'm kind of just gonna make that a universal thing for all of my kingdoms in my series. And as for Desta's outfit, so I've mentioned this in the past, but um, so they are the UKSD, so United Kingdom of Selvadrata and Dakarai. In my series, Selvadrata, it is, well now it's I'm like transitioning a little bit. Now it's more inspired by West Africa, specifically Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Ghana. So I'm now being a little bit more like strict about it because now there's more custom content available, which I'm super happy about. And then of course, Dakarai is from Nando's Trip to Egypt mod, which I will link in the description below as well. And Dakarai is based off of Egypt. So I tried to combine the fashions a little bit. Um, and for the CC that I found before, before I did the makeover, most of the custom content I found uh, fit well for um, the clothing that they would wear in modern day West Africa. But for Egypt, so when I was, I mean, anyone's welcome to correct me, this is just what I found off of Google. I know that several of my viewers are from Egypt and West Africa as well. But the articles that I found, it did say that in Egypt, a lot of the modern day fashion is mostly like, like Western, so like, uh, jeans, t-shirts, uh, business suits and that kind of stuff. I did see that some women wear headscarves. So I really want to find, I uh, was looking at a picture of the last queen consort in Egypt. Um, they don't have a king queen anymore, but from 1976, I think. Oh, just kidding. 1953 was the last year that they had um, the last king in Egypt. But I found a picture of her and she had this gorgeous headscarf and I wish I could find something like that for The Sims. I know that there's some other headscarves, um, some other custom content but I need to find something that doesn't clip with the outfits and also doesn't have, I think it's mostly alpha that does this, but it's kind of like, like it's not smooth. I don't know how to explain it, but the texturing of it is like not 
smooth. It's like kind of spiky, but there are some outfits that I do have that kind of work. Actually, Zamora has some of the outfits and I didn't want to give Dusted the exact same thing. A couple of her outfits are some of Zamora's previous outfits. And I kind of like to think that it's something that she may have passed along to her, but I do have several outfits still that I'm using for Zamora that Desta might get in the future. But for now, I'm gonna keep them on Zamora. But yeah, if you look up Egyptian custom content for clothing for The Sims, it's mostly just like, ancient Egypt clothing that comes up, like stuff for pharaohs and all of that. So I couldn't find a whole ton of things. I do want to practice recoloring more. I'm not that great with like patterns and stuff yet. So that's something I want to practice more. I can mostly just like change the color of the outfits. And that's something that I do need to do with the other outfits. The UKSD, their kingdom colors are dark green and white. However, I don't usually, like I'm not that strict with the kingdom colors for like their outfits for their kingdom, for a lot of the kingdoms actually, the ones that I'm most strict about that and who like pretty much only wear their color are uh, Windenburg, Willow Creek and Brindleton Bay. And that's because a lot of the outfits that I use, like the uniforms and stuff are the same and like the dresses too, they're very similar. Um, so I try to stick more and be more strict about their kingdom colors as being like the only thing they wear pretty much. But I'm a lot more flexible with the other kingdoms. But yeah, Desta, she looks so good. I gave her a new hairstyle for more formal stuff just to have it like a bit more up. She is also pregnant. However, I, I was gonna like make it not showing for this video, but I it, like it's not showing anyway. It does that sometimes for my pregnant Sims. They just like don't show up pregnant and create a Sim. But she is pregnant now. They've gone on their honeymoon. They're pregnant, they're going to be having their baby in a couple episodes and I'm so excited. So it will be the heir for the UKSD. And then just a little bit about Desta too. I have mentioned this in the past, but if you missed it, but Desta actually, she's grew up in Windenburg. Her grandparents are actually from Salvadorada, but her parents, well, her grandparents moved to Windenburg and then that's where her parents grew up too. So she grew up in Windenburg as well. Both of her parents, they were in the army, which is kind of how she got into it too, because she was in the army. Um, she was in the Windenburg army and that's how she met Bellatrix and they became super good friends. And then Bellatrix is how she met Adric at a royal event. And I just think that whole thing, like that whole connection is super cute. But her parents do still live in Windenburg. They live in like a little townhouse there. They're retired. Actually, since they are retired, I might have them move closer to Desta and maybe have them move to Dakarai so that way they can be closer to their grandchildren too. I might actually do that. Yeah. Okay. But, oh yes. And also these outfits, they are on my Pinterest board. So my Pinterest board is linked in the description below. I have a clothing category for teens, adults, and elders. So the clothes that you see here, those are on my Pinterest board. So you can download them there. The gel that she wore for her wedding and any other head scarves you see too, they are on my Pinterest board in the other accessories category. But yeah, those are all her outfits. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think their baby is going to be a boy or a girl. If you have ideas for other speed cast videos in the future, you are welcome to comment those down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.